Next step shoes. Right, this one is really great for those beautiful ladies, especially the ladies that are the, you know, uh, looking to step up to uh, improve themselves, to take the next level um, up on their journey to, in the direction that they actually want to go and get clarity on that. This one's definitely for you. Um, and also for the, the ladies that are, or folks that are really sort of struggling with, I really don't know where to. Um, I've never thought about it. I'm kind of just on a hamster wheel and I'm just kind of doing my thing and I'm just reacting to life. Life is happening to me, not for me. So it doesn't matter which end of the spectrum you're on. And by the way, if you want to know why you're doing that, you want to be taking that um, quiz that we've just developed, uh, which is the three hidden shoe types quiz. So it'll help you define um, exactly which one you are and why. Yeah, we've got to get an understanding of oh I didn't realize I was I was operating like that most of the time and you know why why do I do that so what's running the show what you know we are all <laughs> like little robots really you know we've got these sub subconscious programs that um, we run every single day and we just respond you know like something happens and you just you know you do your thing sometimes those programs work for you sometimes they don't so what I find with the next step shoes is quite often um, if you're the A type um, striving to be the best version of yourself kind of person, you often have, um, you know, like they just, they, they're so go getters. You know, if you, I, it, I'm sure there are going to be a number of you who are in this category. Um, they just want to know, like, what's the quickest, fastest way and, and most streamlined way to get to where I, is I want to go, okay? What's the next step? You know, so you've got to put your next step shoes on. And, you know, I know it sounds like it's so simple um, where you're going like, well, you know, isn't that just obvious? Like, you know, well, obviously, you know, if I have to do this, you know, X, Y, and Z. But I often find that if we're in so much overwhelm, which us ladies are, you know, we're doing far more than we've ever, you know, had to before. And when you get so busy with things that just get presented in front of you, you become reactive, even if you're a proactive person. Um, and, you know, this will be in tie, you know, tie in with all my Enneagram stuff and the towards and away from shoes. Um, that was a video that I did earlier on in the YouTube channel. And you can go and have a look at that. Or you can um, go into the Facebook group if you're in there and, and look up, you know, hashtag towards and away from um, shoes. And I'll bring that video up. And that talks to that kind of like that, you know, why, who's more inclined? Which way are you more wide? Are you more towards or away from kind of person? Gives you more clarity on that. But um, the next step shoes is all about, you know, especially, you know, it's like, what's next? You know, it's exciting. It's, you know, get me onto that path, uh, uh, you know, going in the direction I want. And, uh, you know, I love that. Like, it's like, you know, right, what's the quickest way? Why spend 10 years doing something that you can do in two or three months if somebody else has already done it, right? So we have to know what the next step is, though. So that clarity quite often gets a bit fuzzy because you may sort of generally know where you want to go, but you're not sure exactly what the next step is. And you might think it's this step, but you might actually find that there's two steps that actually come before it or that you do something and then it didn't actually work. So now it puts you off, you see, so you don't actually take the next step or you've taken the next step and it's like one step back to, you know, one step forward, two steps back kind of scenario where it's like, oh, I overstepped, you know, I went too far. So what we want to do is, is look at, you know, a, a, a bite size, little steps. I'm always into the little steps. Okay. Take a little step in the direction but what is the next step we want to make sure that your next step is in the in the pair of shoes that you want which is what this whole channel and this whole concept is all about what are the shoes are you stepping you know before you take the step are they even shoes you want to even be wearing like you know is it something that somebody's told you to have you have to wear those or are you feeling like you have to wear them because that's just what's accepted so you choose to wear them but you don't want to so i've got videos all about that and you can go and have a look at that but are you taking the next step on a path you don't want so when you get clear about what direction you want to go in 
um, you can go, right, okay, well, what are my choices? And this is where the next step shoes come in real handy because then you can go, well, okay, I've got a variety now. Try and find more than one next step is what I would suggest. So you've got, okay, option one, two, and three, maybe four, whatever works for you. And go, do you know what it might be, you know, if you're the... If you're the, I want to be the best version of myself kind of person, it'll be things like, well, what course can I take? Or, um, you know, it's doing this kind of thing. It's like, what video can I listen to? Um, you know, maybe it's that um, there's an exercise that Vicky Jane's given me and I haven't done that and I could, that is my next step. My next little step is doing that, okay? So this next step is identifying what the next step is. So find out what your actual options are so that you can go, you know what, yeah, I really like the idea of that course, but it's a little out of my budget right now. So I wonder if there's something that's like a mini course, or maybe there's an ebook or a audio book that I can listen to, or it might be, you know, um, a free challenge. I'll go and look for free challenges that I can find. And then I go, well, okay, that I can do. So which one appeals to me more? Uh, okay, I'm time poor. So you've got to work out, like, what is it that 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 next step is and then commit to it like step into it see if it works if it doesn't don't stress out you know just go okay well that wasn't quite what i was expecting or you know it's too much work or whatever don't don't beat yourself up about it just get back you know out of those shoes and try something different just step into another pair of next step shoes and try that and you might find that that actually works because i mean i've had that all often you know i've over committed on something and it's just like oh I, I actually can't do all of that right now so this is what i actually am going to do but i'm still going to do something so always take that next step but you've got to get clear on what that next step is so you know um you kind of need glasses on you know the that that you know give you that look of like well what are my options and then go and do your sherlock shoes as well and go and investigate to see what those different options are because there's always more than one a lot of people think that there's a limited amount you know i've only got this and this and this that i can actually do well that's rubbish you know there's always lots of choices and if you haven't looked you will not find right you have to look to find so um seek and you shall find isn't that even in the bible i think it might be um anyway getting a slightly diverted there so what are your next steps now if you are coming from the aspect of you know i'm in so much overwhelm um, I'm just not coping here. Uh, this isn't, you know, working for me at all. And I just don't know what my next steps are. Maybe your next step is actually finding a coach who can help you. You know, maybe your next step is um, joining a group of people, you know, who are, you know, also struggling with overwhelm. Maybe it's um, how to deal with overwhelm. Do you know what I am going to do? I'm going to um, uh, put out my overwhelm wheel that uh, this is a Vicky thing. Um, you won't find it anywhere else. And it helps you to work out what your, your points of overwhelm are. And um, this will then help you to, it, it really gets you clear on, you know, what's the woods, what's the, you know, the trees, what's the shrubs, what's the grass, what's the weeds. And when you get clear on that in every aspect of your life, you can then go, right, I can now prioritize what it is that I'm actually going to need to do, what my next step actually is going to be, because you know some other some parts of your life will be more urgent than others. So you can work through a priority list, or sometimes I find that if it's overwhelming and too much for the person, sometimes we we um, I take a different approach where it's like um, I call it the low hanging fruit, and uh, you pick something that's real easy and and simple to do and you get rid of that so that might be your next step is like just defining you know um i'll i'll let you guys know when i'm i'm about to put out that overwhelm um wheel um so that you can go and do that exercise because honestly it's it really is so helpful it sounds so simple and it it is but people just don't do it like they're not on a conscious level they don't you know and then you go into this mush put pot um, is that even a word of of just confusion and I don't know what's next and this is very very typical of people who um, are away from shoes I don't you know um, 
towards shoe wearers can have this as well proactives can have it managers um, if you want to know about your three hidden shoe types um, you can do a little free quiz that um, we've developed that you can just take for free and it will tell you whether you're a firefighter or whether you're a manager and then you can also if you want you can get an e you know the the little e-guide that tells you even more with bonus information about another two pair of shoes that everybody has in their closet and they just don't know about it including yourself um, no no one's exempt from that um, and the when you get clear about how you operate it starts um, separating out things that were just so confusing and overwhelming um, and just muddled you know just you know you you, you can't work out what's what you, you don't know what shoe your shoes are and you you know like how do you know whether you want to keep them or not if you don't even know what you're wearing you know it's all very confusing isn't it so the that might be your next step is that you just do that quiz you know so that you can start getting clear yes you can listen to these videos but you if you haven't been able to work it out yet um, or if you're the type of person who wants to read the information rather than listen to it or watch it, then, you know, it's a free e-guide that you can just get sent to you and you can work it out from there. So definitely worthwhile. Anyway, um, I hope you found that useful. What I, I want to try and keep these tighter um, and more concise for you guys because uh, that's the feedback I've been getting uh, because we are very busy ladies and we're all very time poor. I understand that. Um, but if you want to have um, more information or more support um, that helps you around that you know go go and join us if you're not already in the Facebook group come come over to the Facebook group it's the Vicky Jane Facebook book group um, it's free it doesn't cost anything to join and um, you know there you can connect with other you know what I call my super soul sisters um, where you can get the support that you want um, and that you need uh, to help you get the clarity that you actually want to define what you know and you can even reach out to somebody and ask you know I'm, I'm struggling with the next step does anyone have any tips or have you found that you know something particularly useful or you can even just direct message me I mean once you're in the Facebook group you can do that and you can talk to me directly there so um, yeah I hope you found that useful thank you so much for making time and as always the whole idea is to get you in your shoes on your path going your own way and I hope you found that useful namaste